So firstly, you need to have a piece of polystyrene block, five wooden toothpicks, your choice of colour of an enamel paint, from pack A, four metal wheels and a wooden handle. So for painting, push metal wheels onto the end of one of the cocktail sticks firmly. Do that with all the wheels and the wooden handle. So now you can paint the wheels and the handles. Paint both sides of the wheel and around the edge of the wheel. Just try to make sure that you don't get any paint in the gaps between the spokes. It's quite difficult to get it out. You may need two coats of paint. And pop the cocktail stick into the polystyrene block, put them aside until they're dry. So now we're going to prepare the platform base. So you will need the decal and the wooden strip. And first of all, you're going to carefully cut out the decal using some small sharp scissors. So to prepare the decal, you need a shallow dish of water and a piece of kitchen towel to mop up the excess water. Just pop the decal into the water, don't worry if it curls up, and then you have to leave it for about 30 seconds or so, um, by which time the decal will be able to, you'll be able to slide it off the backing paper. So you just need to be a little bit patient. When it's ready, it would just slide off really easily. Just try. No, it's not quite ready yet. Leave it for a minute more. try and slide it yep and you can see now it will just separate easily from the backing paper so pop it down on the kitchen towel just blot the excess water there the shiny side is the wrong side and there's a matte side which is the right side so just leave that to dry before gluing. So now the decal is dry, I'm going to use some PVA glue, apply it to the shiny side of the decal, which is the underside. So if you work on the piece of kitchen towel, any glue that comes off the edges won't mess up your work surface. Just use the edge of the cocktail stick to spread an even layer of glue, making sure you go right to the points of the decal. And using the cocktail stick, you can position it centrally onto the piece of wood. The glue will allow you to slide it slightly so that you can get it exactly centred on the wood. Just make sure that all the points are well stuck down. Don't worry if there's a little bit of excess, just 
carefully wipe it off the glue will dry clear so you won't see it and leave that to dry Now you need the pattern sheet, uh, cut out the saddle and the saddle back. We have two pieces. Now you're going to use the piece of leather on the wrong side of the leather. If you lay out the saddle and the saddle back as shown, you will still have enough leather left over along the top and along the side to cut out the head harness and the reins. So I've drawn around the saddle and the saddle back ready to cut out and two strips for the reins. So when you have all the pieces cut out you'll also need two jump rings from the saddle pack just check to make sure the ends line up properly. You can just adjust them with your hands. Then you thread jump ring onto the end of the saddle strap. Then PVA glue onto the wrong side of the end of the strap. This will fold over this jump ring which will form a stirrup. Just try and make sure that you've got the join and the jump ring on the underneath so that the join won't be visible. A little bit fiddly and then fold the leather over to form the stirrup. Now do the same for the other side. So here you can see I've done both, I've got both of the stirrups on and now I'm going to glue the saddle back onto the underside, to the wrong side of the saddle. So line the curved edge up. Make sure it's central. So for the saddle decal, cut out the saddle decal as you did for the platform. carefully cut it out and that will go centrally on the saddle. So I've applied some glue to the back of the saddle. I'm just going to position it carefully centrally onto the saddle. Just make sure it's all pressed down properly and then leave it to dry. Now we're going to add the braid trim onto the saddle. This will go all around the top of the saddle and around the curved edge of the saddle back underneath. So just apply a thin line of glue all the way around and glue the, glue the Pico braid on. This is applying it around the bottom edge of the saddle back. This just means that you'll be able to fold up the saddle back slightly to, to give a slight raised back to the saddle. Trim off the excess.
So now we're going to add the um, head harness and the reins to the zebra. So the two thin strips of leather that you have cut out from the leather piece, we're going to use them to make, first of all, the head harness. So if you just measure from one side of his mouth to the other, across the top of his nose, cut that piece to length. Apply some glue onto the back of it. And then position it onto his nose. So it goes from the edge of his mouth right across the top of his nose. And then the other piece we're going to use for the reins. So a little bit of glue on one end and butt it up against the end on his nose. Take it around to the other side and glue in the same place on the opposite side. Now we're going to add a little bit of decoration, so a little dot of glue where the head harness and the reins join and glue a tiny, a tiny jump ring over the join. Then another tiny bit of glue inside the jump ring. And using the glue on your cocktail stick, pick up one of the tiny crystals and place it on top of the jump, jump ring in the centre. Yeah, you can see it's just in the centre of the jump ring. Do the same on the other side. So now we're going to add the saddle. Just test fit it first to see where you want to place it. Make sure it fits nice and neatly. Then we're going to apply glue on the back of the saddle. A nice even layer. It's a good idea to let this go slightly tacky for a, maybe 30 seconds or so before placing it onto the zebra. The little curved section at the front should just fit at the end of his mane. So press it all down really well. You might need a tiny bit under the stirrup straps. Bend the saddle back up so it gives a nice shape at the back. Now for the headdress, you'll need the little brass finding and five little tiny crystals. And we're going to glue the crystals onto the petal shapes on the finding. So tiny dot of glue on each petal, do them one at a time. Then use the cocktail stick to just transfer the crystal onto the petal. And now you can see it's finished. Now you're going to need the feather, which should have a nice point on the end. So just twirl it round in your fingers to make sure you've got a nice point. And then that will go right through the hole in the centre of the finding. Pull it through a little bit until it's the length that you want.
and then apply some PVA glue just in the inside of the hull just to hold the feather in place just push the stick in and twirl it around a bit then if you leave that to dry and then trim off the excess bit of feather so then you can glue the feathered headdress jeweled headdress onto sorry got a bit out of shot here onto the top of the nose just below the ears below the front of the mane just glue it on centrally leave it to dry so back to the wheels I can recommend I recommend this rocket max um, super glue but any sort of super glue will do um, put a little bit in the lid plastic lid and dip one end of the axle rod into the glue then slip it through the hole in the wheel make sure that the it doesn't come out the other end do the same with another wheel a little bit of super glue push it through the hole and leave to dry then you need the square axle supports so slot the rod through the centre and then glue the other wheel on on the other end and make sure you don't get any glue on that square section otherwise the wheels won't turn round there is a little bit of play a little bit of excess so it should be all right but just check that the square section will move and final finishing touch we're going to glue one of the little crystals into the center of the wheel hub so use a cocktail stick to transfer the crystal into the center make sure it's positioned centrally perfect So if you refer to the wheel assembly placement diagram on the back page of your booklet and measure and draw the lines for the placement of the wheel assemblies, they will be glued inside the lines. Doing on the wheels, I recommend a two-part epoxy resin like Araldite, something similar. So now we're going to glue the wheel assemblies onto the platform. To apply a line of glue along one side of the square moulding, and then carefully position right up against the line. Make sure they're centred side to side. And then just lay it on something to support the wheels off the ground where they dry. We we'll do the same with the other wheel assembly. You do have a bit of time when working with the epoxy resin to make sure that you've got your wheel placements exactly right in the right position. So check that they're exactly right before you place it down to dry.
Now for the pull cord, you'll need the length of silk cord. Just dip one end in a little bit of PVA glue and roll it between your thumb and forefinger just to, to get a point on it so that you can thread it through the hole in the wooden handle. So it should thread through the hole to the other side. Pull it through and just tie a single knot as close to the end of the cord as you can. Move the, move the knot along as near to the end as you can and then pull it tight. Then you can cut off the excess. Then it's a good idea to just put a little bit of glue under the knot. That will just hold it in place on the handle. So now you want to thread the other end of the silk cord through the tiny piece of metal tubing. Pull it through and again tie a single knot. Take it as far along as you can to the end of the cord. cut off the excess. So now the wheel assembly is dry. We're going to mark the centre of one end of the platform and glue the piece of metal tubing onto the centre to form the pull along. When that's dry then we're going to use a, an acrylic paint, you can use any colour you want, I've used a sort of wood colour to paint the underside of the wheeled platform, it just finishes it off nicely. and. You can see you may need to use two coats. So finally we're going to glue the zebra onto the wheeled platform. Obviously the end with the pull cord is the front so your animal has to face the front. So do double check that before you glue it on. You'll need to mix up some more epoxy resin glue. Just do a test run to see where you're going to place it. Then you need to put some glue on the underside of these hoofs and glue them onto the top. Do make sure that he's completely centred. Glue on the underside and then position them in place. Press down firmly and leave them to dry.